Corey Harris, also known as the Young Phenom, has always had the lights shining on him when it came to basketball. At only the age of 12, Corey became an internet sensation when a highlight reel of him surfaced online. This reel showed him decimating his peers. He was so skilled that his coaches had permission to have him moved into the 14U AAU league, where he surprisingly kept up the same amount of dominance. It's here where he met up with his future longtime teammate, AI. But that's a story for another time. Now, Corey, at the age of only 13, continued playing against older competition. Now listed at six foot flat, Corey was able to do things no one else in his league could do. With out of the gym range and athleticism beyond his years, he was truly a young phenom. But this was largely due to his older cousin's NBA friend, Ray Allen. Because of Ray, Corey had access to some of the best NBA trainers and NBA facilities. And at only the age of 14, he threw down his first in-game dunk. His amazing abilities got him offers to some of the top colleges around the world, and Corey decided to commit to Duke University. Here, he would play under Coach K. Now, while Corey was in high school, he would absolutely shine. In all four years, he averaged 28 points and 8 assists per game. He was announced as a McDonald's All-American for all four years of his high school career. He also was Gatorade's Player of the Year three years in a row. By his senior year, he decided that he no longer wanted to go to Duke University because his high school coach got a job coaching for the Bulldogs in the NCAA. Corey, who loved his coach's system, decided to decommit from Duke and play for the Bulldogs. And while playing in the NCAA, it only took that season for NBA scouts to realize that he was the truth. He soon became a standout freshman, and with the help of AI, Corey was able to become one of the most sought-after young prospects in the draft. Averaging 26 points and 8 assists per game, his efficiency from high school to college barely changed. But it was in his game against Kentucky when he took off from the three-point line to complete one of the nicest in-game layups in NCAA history. People felt that he got up so high on this layup that he was able to dunk the basketball if he wanted to. Now, Corey, after that amazing play, was quoted as saying, I don't believe my athleticism is at that level. I don't believe anyone's athleticism is at that level. But to hear you guys think I could do it, it's kind of funny. By the time the NBA draft came around, Corey was projected to go in the top five, as his former teammate AI wasn't projected to go at all. Now, Corey and AI had a pretty solid relationship, but it was here at the NBA draft where their friendship would truly be tested. But again, that's a story for another time. At the NBA draft, Corey was selected second overall by the Los Angeles Lakers, and here he would become an instant impact rookie. Running the show alongside LeBron James, Corey was truly able to live up to the hype that's been surrounding him since the age of 12 years old. And thanks to LeBron's guidance, he was able to manage all of the pressure. After his very first season in the NBA, Corey was just shy of winning Rookie of the Year. But it was around this time that he was selected to join other NBA stars as they took on a game in Shanghai. It was in this game where he would match up against AI. Now in this game, AI pulled off a disgusting dunk on top of Corey. This dunk had Corey Harris trending for all of the wrong reasons. And it was soon after this point went down that the Los Angeles Lakers began looking at AI as a future addition to their team. But Corey caught wind of this and decided to step in. He convinced Magic and the front office that AI was not ready yet, and he suggested that they send him down to the G League in order for him to develop. Now, no one truly knows the reason for Corey doing this. It may be because of jealousy, but at the end of the day, when he did run into AI at a Los Angeles Lakers practice, he decided to pretend that he knew nothing about it and that the Los Angeles Lakers were never truly looking in his direction to join their main roster. As the NBA season went underway, Corey had another stellar year, and although his points per game went down, he began to average a double-double with 12 assists and 13 points per game. But as the NBA playoffs came around, the Los Angeles Lakers found themselves in trouble. With injuries to their team, they found themselves looking around for players to fill in the role. During that time, AI, who was in the G League absolutely tearing up the competition, 
received a phone call from Magic and the front office. They decided to sign him and bring him aboard to play in a game against the San Antonio Spurs alongside Corey Harris. Now this game would determine whether or not the Lakers would make it into the playoffs and Corey, who had to take a backseat to AI during their very first game, was not happy. But luckily for them, AI stepped up big. He had an explosive first game in the NBA and all of the scouts and press were looking at him. It was during this time that there was speculation that AI would begin to receive more minutes as the playoffs progressed and Corey would start to receive less. Now everything beyond this point has yet to been said, but this is the backstory of Corey Harris. Okay, you guys, that was the backstory of Corey Harris. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that sub button so you guys can stay up to date with all of these backstory videos. I was supposed to come out with this on Friday, but I couldn't get it done in time, so it's coming out today. Either way, if you want to suggest a player, just hit me up on Instagram. Just send me a DM, follow, of course, DM, and tell me who you guys want. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.